Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. As always, I am Ixalan. Why am I not? I'm not clicked on the window. That's the problem. <laughs> I was like, why can I not go to the challenges where I want to go? Because it is challenge time. We still have two locked challenges, which is understandable because we still have a lot of stuff to unlock with our other characters. I'm going to try the purest challenge, though. I have... I was like, I've never seen this room. But it actually makes sense that I have not seen this room. Because this is a normal room. We are playing on normal difficulty. For most of the challenges. Which would explain plenty of rooms that I haven't seen. I think we're okay here. Beautiful. So this challenge is kind of a pain. Because you don't start with the D6. And you have to go, I believe, to Isaac. Oh, well, pfft. Never mind. Forget I said anything about this challenge being difficult. Just start with Abaddon and you win the game. <laughs> oh. So you don't, you normally you don't have any item rooms. And so really you have to, because you don't start with any items. So your only items come from boss rooms and devil deals. It's kind of got to, you got to do some interesting stuff. A lot of times you don't get good devil deals on challenges, or at least that's how it feels to me. But, uh, you know, starting the game with Abaddon is starting the uh, the challenge off right. Oh, did we one-shot this? No, two-shot. Okay. Still, that is redonkulous. And a champion widow should be an easy fight. This one does spit flies, which is weird, but I, th I, thought, this one the I thought this was the one that spat out, like, tears in a... In a six shot pattern. I guess not. You make the uh, the blobs that shoot tears, which is also fine by me. And I'll take a free health upgrade. And I believe we're done. <laughs> I mean, there's no point in exploring the rest of the floor. There's not going to be a lot to give you. Um, if you can get money, then you could potentially make something work with your shop. If you've powered up the shop. Obviously, our shop is in it's in a decent place. We have, we have a few solid items we could get out of it. But I think Abaddon can actually carry us through our first devil deal, possibly maybe to like our second or third. Like I, I could see us not needing another damage upgrade until depths one. Obviously more damage early is super good, but Abaddon is such a good item. Granted, it does take away all your red hearts, so you know there's quote unquote a downside. But if you have like Core of Babylon or something super good like that, it's not really a downside anymore, you know? It's kind of like just a pure upgrade. In a lot of ways, Abaddon is just like a win. <laughs> and it's, it's a very strong item. And Cancer! Holy crap. Okay, here's the seed. And I'm not going to put it in the description. But if you want to play this on a regular run, like without the challenge mode, to get Abaddon and see... Like, I want to know what items are in, the, are in this if there were item rooms. Holy crap. That is... This is a strong seed. Even without item rooms, we're gonna... I think we're gonna steamroll this challenge. I was expecting, like... I was like... I looked at the clock and I was like, Alright, do I have time for, like, an hour to an hour and 15 minute Isaac run? Because I feel like the purist can really grind you down. Like, you can... You can play carefully and safely, which is what I thought we were gonna have to do. Like, I'm going fast and loose now because... Uh, F it. Are you a wizard? Balls of steel. Okay. That seems really good. Okay, I was kinda hoping. I'm gonna take this, obviously. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. GG. Nope, I'll take this. Thank you. <laughs> GG game. GG. So yeah, there you go. That's your uh play that play that run. You know, have fun. Get Abaddon, then Brimstone. I don't even need your callus. Don't care. I would like it. It would be cute, but there's no way to get it without flight, which is makes it literally useless as a trinket. Oh, Swinya. Oh, I thought we would hit both of them long enough to kill them both. Oh, well. All right, we got seven cents. Oh, can I not hit the, the bats? Okay, interesting. The bats are taking a long time to die. There we go, success. 
Who do you think it is? Hollow? Oh. That's mean. I mean, just like making the hollow fight us is mean. That's a concept. Oh, this is a fun run. I know I like if you've if you've been watching me for a while and if you're if you're new to the channel, then one of the things that I like I like I love about Isaac is the randomness and the challenge that you can face in like having difficult runs. Um, but I, I also really love when you just get given the strongest items in the game and it's just kind of like a casual relaxing run at that point. You're just like, I'm just going to hang out and have fun and go into this arcade and go down to half a heart in case we get like polar rim uh, not polar invincibility, like a uh, horror Babylon effect or something, you know, just kind of take it easy. No reason to stress. There's no need to stress when you got this going on, when you got all this going on. We do have obviously a fetus attached to the side of our face, so even though we would look like a serious badass otherwise, we do kind of look a little ridiculous. That's just the nature of the game. Yeah, my brimstone beam is better than yours. You need to get with the program. Get with the program. I would. Oh, and there's a key too. Next shop we find, we're going in. I almost opened that instead. Oh. Hmm. If I can get three cents, I will come back. Just for the hell of it. Not because we like need need blue map for any particular reason. Because I think it would be fun to have blue map. Uh oh, that doesn't help. I mean I guess tech on a technical sense, it could. Alright, I'm just gonna buy the key and open the other chest then. Maybe we'll get like stupid luck and this will be Tammy's head. I was like, I got really excited because I was like, is the game that going to be just like that ridiculous and give us Tammy's head right here? It did not. And I don't blame it. I wouldn't give me Tammy's head either. I'm not. I don't think I'm fully appreciating the awesomeness of this run. I'm just like, oh yeah. It's going to be like super, probably one of the fastest challenge runs I've had in a very, very long time. And down we go. I still have the balls of steel too and we're still at like full health, so... I have no need for, for anything. Which is kind of sad and kind of funny. I mean, I guess technically I would like keys. Keys and money. And stop giving me freaking bombs. I don't need them. I have a feeling you're just going to keep giving me bombs though. So, you know, what do I do? Not accept them? That's dumb. <laughs> Nobody looks a gift horse in the mouth. That's not true. A lot of people do. You probably should too. I think this is going to cost you money. So the concept, I not, you know, I used to wonder, and if you're not familiar with some of these idioms that we use in the English language and why we use them, I always wondered why do you, like, what's, what's that saying, never look a gift horse in the mouth? Like, why is that an actual saying? That doesn't make any sense. And when you, when people used to, like, auction horses, you'd want to see their gums because you can tell a lot um, about the age. Like, you can pretty up a horse and make it look nice, but if it's old, it hasn't, been well taken care of, you can you can see that in its gums and its teeth and stuff. And so people would, when they go to a horse auction, you know, they want to see... I'm going to kill myself. Uh, like, literally the next chance I get. So you would you would kill yourself on... No, you would kill yourself. You would look a gift horse in the mouth, was the, was the saying. Kill me. Kill me. I'm afraid that I might kill this guy. But I want him to kill me. I don't want to fire. I'm just going to continue to walk again. And so that's the saying is don't look a gift to the horse in the mouth because it's, if it's a gift, it doesn't matter if it's like older. I mean, at least it's a horse, right? You can do some stuff with a horse is kind of the concept. And I mean, maybe that's true if you're like, if you, I mean, if you're a professional, if you have a professional use for horses, I guess, maybe. But I think in reality, the most the more common effect that you're going to get out of this is just the fact that now you have a horse that is old and decrepit and like has issues and you're gonna have to pay for it. So like I disagree with you don't look a gift horse. You should definitely look a gift horse in the mouth. Those things are gonna cost you an arm and a leg by the end of it. Anyways, that's my stance on gift horsing. If, ever, if anyone ever gives you a horse, you uh, you look at that thing's gums. Even if you don't understand what you're doing, just like make it seem like you do. Kind of try to impress them a little. I mean, they're giving you a horse. It's the least you could do. Where is this last guy? Where did you wander off to? Come on, gurgling. 
I ain't got time for you. We are gonna blow up uh, the skulls around the ring here. Maybe try to get a card or a black card. Ooh, card. Death card. All right. Let's start. We got some pin action going on. So, do you see how much damage pin took from just like one brimstone beam? <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that's Dark Judas just murdering everything. <laughs> that's how it rolls. I didn't need to use the death card there, but yeah. Whatever. Uh, okay. There we go. That scared me for like half of a second. I want this. I want this. <laughs> Nothing else really matters to me. That is a really bad placement for that bomb. Oh, it worked. I thought it was gonna miss terribly. Excuse me. I would like this. Stars card. I'm out. Golden key, still out. Don't know why I took it. It literally is not going to do anything for... Oh, no. It'll let me get this card. Magician. I'm back in board. <laughs> Magician Brimstone, so fun. Homing Brimstone, obviously, infinitely better, but... I love... I love Homing Tears with Brimstone. Look at that. I wasn't even, like, aiming in that general direction. Do you want to do Boss Rush? I kind of do. So I'm going to do it. Gonna do it. We're going to kill everything so fast. Boss Rush on a challenge run. Because why not? Where are you? I need to kill you before you make more poops. Okay. You're never making poop again. That's good. There we go. I need to not be on this side too. It's part of the issue. All right, we got a peep issue. Where you, where you, where you jumping to, peep? Need you dead? I don't trust you. You're a terrible, terrible boss. I will, if I need to, use uh, use the crystal ball here. But I th think I want to try to save it to just get instant mapping, if I can. We have a number of hits, which I don't think we're gonna take any of. Maybe we'll get hit once on the bloat and the mask of infamy. I don't know. We'll see. For now, we're just gonna like murder everything. <laughs> there we go. I wasn't entirely sure what was gonna happen, but I figured we'd kill all of this stuff eventually. Where is Chad? Chadley, Chadley, Chadley. Chadley. Where is. Where the hell did that name come from? From now forth, I shall call you Chadley. Or Chaddington. Chadsworth? Chad is a terrible name. It's not like a bad name, but like... I feel like it's one of the most made fun of names... in current society. I don't know if that's true anymore. Maybe I'm out of touch. Maybe that's just when I was a kid, Chad was a name we'd make fun of. It's got that like... fake, posh... British feel to it. Okay, so that was terrible on my part because I walked into that. Got him brimstoning, which is nice. Is he dead? No, he's not. There we go. Now they're both dead. Problem solved. Oh, that only did half a heart of damage. I was really expecting far worse. And dead. Charged. This is going, like, way smoother than I thought. I guess because we fought regular mom and not challenge mom. Oh. Bloat almost got me there. Did he, Oh, he killed the mask for us. Wow. Very nice. Thank you, Bloat. What could we... Okay. <laughs> Dark Judas, Brimstone, Abaddon is ridiculous. Oh, you size thought you could get me, didn't you? Little shits. Okay. That guy is finally dead. He had avoided death this whole time. Okay, death is finally dead. Alright, where are you coming at? Gotcha. Alright, you know the drill. Take out the body. There we go. Now we can fight the fallen in peace. 
Ah, the Fallen was a joke, and now we don't need to use our bombs to get into hidden rooms. But hidden, yeah, secret rooms. Hidden rooms, secret rooms, whatever. Whatever you want to call them, don't matter to me. Give us mapping, and okay, this is pretty straightforward. We got a couple of these guys to kill. There we go. Gotta wait for his creep to get out of my way. Thank you. We're gonna skip that one room because there's no need to fight in it. Oh, that guy is like super fast. Holy crap. Go ahead and get our soul hearts while we can. I have a feeling we can get six rooms by the next floor. That doesn't seem like a very difficult thing to accomplish on this particular run. Quick check for tinted rocks. Found a tinted rock. Is this small rock? Oh, you gotta be, like, actually shitting me right now. That's insane. I can't play you. I don't know why I did that. I was gonna play him, but then I realized that if he gave us health, we'd lose so much good stuff. I mean, we'd still have... Actually, no, we would only lose permanent polaroid invincibility. But, you know what? I like permanent polaroid invincibility. I wanna keep that. So this is a five shot. That's four. It's looking like it. And five. Five shots to kill Mama Girdly. Girding. Girdly? I don't know. Uh, ooh, we have a lot of choices here. I'm gonna take one of these. Demon baby. But enough for screw, let's go. <laughs> we don't need anything to win. It would just screw me. It would give me something like terrible. I, know, I just, I know it. Uh, obviously, can't go that way. That guy is straight dead. One more room, and then we know where we're going. And more health. The devil card. Oh, we can do some. We can do some sneaky stuff. Unless greed is in this room, in which case it's far less sneaky. No, it's pretty good. I like that a lot. So if we kind of get screwed, we could use uh, the crystal ball early, but I feel like we're not going to need to. And we're just going to be able to use this on uh, the, cathed the cathedral. So I'm pretty sure we go to Isaac for this fight, um, for this challenge. So I think I'm going to save the devil for Isaac as well. No, I'm going to use the devil immediately. Don't kid yourself, Ixalan. Okay, so Super Secret Room is not here. Definitely double card. Wreck face. Okay, that was not intentional, but that's fine. One more before she shoots her lasers. Oh, already she shot her lasers. Oh! What do you know? That's the end of the challenge. And we got the rune of Burkano. <laughs> I thought that was going to go much further. That was awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time for more Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Later.